I just wanted to show you a very cool tool that I've been working with over the last week. Um, actually, we've um, been working with it for over a year, but we really pushed it to um, to do some cool Drupal magic this week. And it's Loadstorm. It's a Drupal-based, uh, at least a user interface-based um, load testing tool. Um, you can use to purchase Amazon instances of some servers, and they'll spin up and perform your test cases. So um, why am I talking to you about this? Well, we traditionally do some performance testing uh, prior to launching our websites on Drupal. However, this um, we've had an instance recently where we really needed to push the um, our traditional testing a little bit further. We discovered that uh, one of our sites had performance issues only when um, nodes were edited. Now this makes sense because when you edit a node, you uh, change some things. So so cache uh, files get refreshed. So just so steamroll effect. So uh, we found out that when our MySQL cache files were being refreshed due to this edit, uh, there were some queries that were causing some problems. So we we fixed that problem, and we really wanted to make sure that. We fixed it. So how do we do that? Well, uh, we looked at the queries during using Devel, and we also wanted to make sure that um, it performed under load. So uh, Loadstorm to the rescue, uh, really cool tool. Uh, basically, what you do is you uh, create a um, a set, a test plan. So what the first thing that you do is you uh, add a plan, and I'm going to do um, create a Andy Andy test. Plan, and this is a for a video demo to delete after I'm done. Uh, and a plan is just going to give me uh, something to reference. It's just a container, and it's a container for scenarios. And you can also execute plans. And what is a scenario? So a scenario, you can have many, one or two, many scenarios in a test plan. And a scenario is um, a um, collection of steps. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, I want to hit the landing page and then click on the uh, about page. Oops, actually let's make that a so let's make that the description and landing plus I uh, can't really spell, sorry. Landing plus about. Okay. Now, waiting is going to give us an indication when we have more than one um, scenario, how often or how much weight to give to that scenario. We're just going to keep everything the same, so I'm going to give that 10. Um, minimum, maximum policy um, is fairly self explanatory. Um, and do we want to download and execute JavaScript? And I say yes, because what we want to do is we want to execute the entire page. So now we have a step. I'm going to do an, um, sorry, now we have a scenario. I'm going to add a step. So of course, let's go to, um, uh, let's add a server. Uh, we're going to do promatsource.com. Keep that as an 80 and save. And we're going to hit the landing page now. Uh, what we're going to need to do before executing the let, let, uh, test cases is um, now. So here, I, um, it's going to load my um, load my um, page, and then I can what I can do is I can uh, keep this and create a new step. And a new step is going to be um, either I can submit a form, or I can open up a page, um, or click on the link. I'm going to go ahead and click on the link, and I'm going to what did I say about right. So let's find about. There's no about people, and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now I have two steps in my test. Um, now, uh, so it's going to run it, and I can follow. You know, I can continue to execute my steps. So now I have my test plan, which has two steps. Um, now, do I want to um, ignore some of these? Yes. It was interesting. So I know that I'm getting some uh, information from. Um, the Drupal server. So now I need to verify my servers. So let's go ahead and verify this server. So basically what I need to do is just create 
this file and put it on this server. So I'm already here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'll probably pause this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a page uh, or a node that has this. Let's see if I remember. Uh, I already have my account here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create content. I'm just going to create an, a regular page. And to verify the server, what I'm going to do is simply, let's see, I want it to, it wants me to create this page. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this text. Doesn't have to be anything, and I just want to make sure it's the URL or um, good SEO stuff. Where's my title? Where's my path? There it is. Let's make sure that it's this path. I save it. Okay, now let's see. Here's the page. I'm going to go ahead and verify. So boom, I just verified my server, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to servers. Uh, I think it was asking me for www because our server is redirecting, so I'm going to go ahead and verify this one. Oh, it's asking me to create another. Um, sorry. Let's create another one. It's not so exciting. I don't need this anymore, so what I'm going to do is let's change the path and save and verify. Okay, so the idea here is that I have uh, just created my Andy test plan with one scenario. Now generally what we want to do is create multiple scenarios. For example, we were able to walk this through and create um, uh, scenarios that edit Drupal pages, which is fantastic because we were able to then simulate um, um, plans that had um, people put in comments or edit nodes, which simulates better uh, interaction and better traffic uh, when caches, caches get cleared. So now what I'm going to do is run my test. So I'm going to go ahead and add a load test. And I'm going to use the Andy test plan. I'm going to go ahead and start it right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some information. So this is against production server. I want to start with five users and with, uh, let's say, 50 over uh, five minutes. Um, and I generally what we want to do here is put in some um, cache settings or, or server settings. So we're going to say Drupal cache on, garnish, if I can spell off, and um, as, many, as much detail as you want to do. Basically what you do is you're inputting your variables in here that you're, that you're um, changing around uh, during the test. So if you're testing, um, let's say 5 to 50, um, go ahead and save. So what you want to do, put in the description, is um, I'm not executing flash, put in the description what you're varying during the test because what's going to happen is you're going to see um, information when this thing executes um, on those servers. So what I also do generally is um, I pull up my terminal, I take a look at the load of the server, um, I generally if I'm writing to forms I take a look at the form and I see whether to uh, look at the um, uh, the revision of the form to see whether it's being um, loaded against and basically what happens is once the test runs is we um, we can analyze in detail so it gives you information about uh, average response time, how many errors came out, how many requests we ran, what's the um, average uh, response rate, um, and it gives us some nice graphs, like for example, um, 
how many users we're peaking out, or is the responses get yeah, word responses, and then here um, just gives you this, this that gives a little bit more information about uh, response times and and uh, whether there are any errors. So basically, what I can do is um, set up a server, uh, create a build a scenario and run a test um, against my environment on multiple steps. Now the nice thing about this is that once you create a test site, so for example if you're testing in a stage environment or if you're testing against a um, development or your local and you want to see what's going to happen in production, so what you do is you can basically copy your plan, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I have a uh, test plan copy, and then what I do is I'm going to go ahead into my scenarios and into my steps, and what I can do here is once I edit my step, if I open, I'm, I can keep my URL extensions the same, and all I do is I change the server, and changing the server basically allows me to move from you know simply quickly copying um, that plan in a scenario and all the steps included and I just have to go through and edit the main URLs. And the nice thing about it is if you're just clicking on links or editing forms, it'll help you, um, it'll help you uh, change from one environment to the other and it loads these things in the page. Uh, this thing is based on Drupal. They actually the UI, really nice job these guys did. And uh, the, again, the nice thing about it is that through uh, very quickly, you can very quickly scale up and run some tests run and, and hit, send some traffic against your website to get an idea of what's going to happen to it. You can look at it in real time, you can store it, um, and you can create pretty sophisticated test cases because you can weigh, uh, so for example, you can uh, create multiple, let's see if I have an example here, you can create multiple scenarios with multiple steps within them. Uh, and then you can assign, uh, assign different weighting to it so it executes uh, different, uh, you know, simulates real use cases and uh, it gives you a nice idea and your client um, a sense of um, comfort when you uh, give them a site. So that's what I was doing uh, this week. Um, hope I didn't uh, bring any servers anybody was working on. Uh, just kidding. And um, I hope that uh, you guys check this out, check this tool out, and uh, I'll be uh, sending out some more information internally. Thanks, and uh, tune in for more info.